Okay, Breaker Broke 23. So today I'm working on an electronics project here and um, just had a package delivered to me. Pretty excited about this. Been waiting for this for a few days. Super stoked, actually. I know what this is and I know how to use it. Anyway, so a viewer, yeah, and I, I should have noted his his YouTube handle. Anyway, he asked me if I have reviewed the Aris Blue Me Pro yet. And apparently, I'm slacking because I didn't know this product was out. Now, I have the Aura, the Aris Blue Me HD and I love it. It's a great, great Bluetooth receiver. Very nice piece of gear. So, uh, I was excited to uh, get the Pro. Extremely super, super fast shipping. Thank you, everybody involved. That includes Amazon as well. Um, yeah, my bench is a mess, sorry. Um, let's open this puppy up. That is factory sealed. Anyway, as with all the stuff designed in America, made in China, but, um, man, I just, I get a lot of use out of my, my other blue me adapter. I use all of my adapters, believe it or not. I kind of, I kind of rotate them. That's what I do. Because I really like the sound and most all of these higher-end modern Bluetooth receivers. Okay, quit rambling. All right, so we have a quick start guide. That looks to be a pretty in-depth quick start guide. And what I think is kind of neat about this unit is it has uh, coaxial out. I guess if people are uh, requesting that. Um, I don't own anything with, that has coaxial input. All of my stuff is like old school vintage analog gear but I do go through DAC sometimes so um, on the rear we have um, analog RCA out so it uses the built-in DAC coaxial out optical out they went to USB-C for um, power input which I really like USB-C over the old micro USB it's got a neat little face there that looks pretty cool um, you know, a decent, uh, decent RCA. There's our USB. We have, um, auxiliary to, uh, let's see, 3.5 millimeter auxiliary, uh, female to RCA. That's interesting. Oh, cool. Some little feet to put on there. That's optional. So you can put your own little feet on there. And they're 3M, so that's going to be good quality. I'll install those down the road. And I like this um, this particular style of AC adapter. I've been getting these lately, and I like that. I like that a lot. So just for giggles, let's use the included power cord. And that's a pretty lengthy cord. I like that. And um, we'll just plug her in here, even though I do have another USB-C in there. Let's plug that in real quick. And let's see what we've got here. I want to see how the screen looks. Let's turn this light off, maybe. Let's see if we can get a grip on that. All right. It's into pairing. So that's not an overly bright light. Um, you can read it, but um, I'd like to maybe see that just a tad brighter. But that being said, that's not going to be annoying at night. So though, when you're when you're going when you're listening or you're having those nighttime sessions, we have a button over here, a multifunction button. I'm going to assume I have not read the instructions, so we're just winging it. It is a power off button. Okay. I mean, that's the sign for it, right? The universal sign. But um, we'll push and hold just for a couple seconds. 
it's already in pairing mode, so it's like what I would call auto pairing. But it does, this is metal too, by the way, this is aluminum. A little detail line in there, I'm sure that's probably where they clamshell it together. But um, it's a pretty solid little piece of gear. That's an interesting styling, I, th I believe. Uh, let me just make sure, before I sign off on this video, let me just make sure what we're doing here. Number three is the power on off. So you can turn this on and off. See? Okay? So you guys that have to have a power on off button, and I fall into that camp at times, this is, um, this is a nice option for you. So, cool. All right, I'm on it. I'm going to hook this up today and start demoing it. So... Um, as I'm looking this out of sh out of frame, of course, and out of light, um, that display is totally readable. And I've got, you know, a little bit of lighting going on here in the room. But um, what I'd like to see companies do is like an auto, an auto sensing feature or something. So in the daytime, it's kind of bright. And as you cut down the light um, in your, or, or your room light, they... They uh, cut down as well, but I think that's a happy overall medium, so I'm cool with that. Okay, now I've got my goofy fingerprints on there. But anyway, so we're going to put this through, it pace, through its paces, and I'll get back to you. This is the RS Blue Me Pro. Very cool. Weighty. I like that. It's weighty. It's, I don't know, I don't know, it's maybe a pound? That, this weighs almost as much as the Zen Blue. Anyway, I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.